a chapter a day to brighten your way. Follow God and stay on the side of grace. Hello friends, let us read the Bible together. Today we'll be reading Isaiah chapter 34. We all know that Jacob and Esau were brothers and that the Israelites were the descendants of Jacob while the Edomites were the descendants of Esau. Unfortunately, Edom later made many mistakes and became enemies with his brother Israel for generations. In this chapter, we will learn about God's justice and His heart for the nations through Isaiah's prophecy about Edom. Let's read chapter 34 together. Isaiah chapter 34 Draw near, O nations, to hear, and give attention, O peoples. Let the earth hear and all that fills it, the world and all that comes from it. For the Lord is enraged against all the nations and furious against all their host. He has devoted them to destruction, has given them over for slaughter. Their slain shall be cast out, and the stench of their corpses shall rise. The mountains shall flow with their blood. All the host of heaven shall rot away, and the skies roll up like a scroll. All their hosts shall fall, as leaves fall from the vine, like leaves falling from the fig tree. For my sword has drunk its fill in the heavens. Behold, it descends for judgment upon Edom, upon the people I have devoted to destruction. The Lord has a sword, it is sated with blood, it is gorged with fat, with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of rams. For the Lord has a sacrifice in Basra, a great slaughter in the land of Edom. Wild oxen shall fall with them, and young steers with the mighty bulls. Their land shall drink its fill of blood, and their soil shall be gorged with fat. For the Lord has a day of vengeance, a year of recompense for the cause of Zion. And the streams of Edom shall be turned into pitch, and her soil into sulfur. Her land shall become burning pitch. Night and day it shall not be quenched, its smoke shall go up forever. From generation to generation it shall lie waste, none shall pass through it forever and ever. But the hawk and the porcupine shall possess it, the owl and the raven shall dwell in it. He shall stretch the line of confusion over it, and the plumb line of emptiness. Its nobles, there is no one there to call it a kingdom, and all its princes shall be nothing. Thorns shall grow over its strongholds, nettles and thistles in its fortresses. It shall be the haunt of jackals and abode for ostriches. And wild animals shall meet with hyenas. The wild goat shall cry to his fellow. Indeed, there the night bird settles and finds for herself a resting place. There the owl nests and lays and hatches and gathers her young in her shadow. Indeed, there the hawks are gathered, each one with her mate. Seek and read from the book of the Lord. Not one of these shall be missing, none shall be without her mate. For the mouth of the Lord has commanded, and his spirit has gathered them. He has cast the lot for them, his hand has portioned it out to them with the line. They shall possess it forever, from generation to generation they shall dwell in it. Why should all the nations of the world listen carefully to Edom's severe punishment? This is because what happened to Edom represents the final outcome for all enemies, and it is also an important reminder from God. Dear friends, let's focus on God today. When the day of judgment comes, may we not be on Edom's side, but instead enter the kingdom of God through Jesus' protection and stay on the side of grace. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, Please forgive my transgressions and give me a humble and trusting heart so that I may stay in your eternal kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A chapter a day to brighten your way. See you tomorrow. Jesus loves you and I love you too.